It's cold out there. I don't think I'll be sitting there too long. Aww. We're going to try for a couple minutes, though. Is it cool out here? Yes. <laughs> this is one of those days where a fast trip is a good trip. Yeah, that's right. I want my coffee. I wouldn't last if hot coffee wasn't going in. Uh -huh. Well, you could be like poor Blake. You know, he runs that pressure washing business. And he's up there getting all wet, cleaning out some stuff in of his tank and all that stuff. He looked like he was cold. It's not a good day to be, not a good morning to be messing with water. I think when that, when that, that spray off that pressure washer hits you a couple times, you're probably ready to call it a day. No stripe yet today, but I've got to be a tuxi. Hey, bud. He started to roll in the video because he was all frisky coming down the hill. I thought he might climb his tree. Last night, slate, 15, 20 feet up. Of course, I didn't have a camera then. But cats do climb trees and almost always get themselves back down the way they went up. She knew what she was doing. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. So I ordered myself this small Lego kit on Black Friday. It's 281 pieces. I am uh, getting ready to put it together and I have a little, <laughs> a little more help than I need. Can you put Legos together? Huh? Can you put Legos together? I've got the little reindeer built and I wanted to pause for just a minute to um, talk a little bit about building. Um, when you want to have stuff attached to a piece, you need um, bricks with studs. And these little one by one bricks here, sometimes the studs are on opposite sides. Sometimes they're on adjacent sides like this one. Sometimes they're on um, just one side. And sometimes they don't have any studs at all. Um, there's not one, I guess this red one is one of those. But all of the building stuff, when you want to attach things to the walls or attach things to a structure, you need these fancier bricks with, um, with the studs. sleep on this bed and heating pad. I don't want to disturb her, but Gray is in the hutch behind the door on top of that heating pad. And Stripe is now up here waiting for me, so hopefully Tux will continue to sleep. You know, boys just don't like boys. That may actually be Slate in the hutch because I see Gray up here trying to intimidate Stripe that just doesn't care if she's there or not. She should just make friends. He probably has good wintertime heat too. Hey buddy. Let's see. Can you spot the little cat over there who's not happy? <laughs> Hi buddy. Good thing she's smart and doesn't mess with you. Oh. There's my hawk. Hi, buddy. You come build a nest again. Nest in the yard this spring. I need hawk photos. I am cooking up these apple gouda sausages for Johnny as part of his lunch today. They are one of the things that comes in the butcher box. 
and they're fully cooked so I'm just warming them up and he asked for a small bowl of pasta so I guess I'm going to do that and why are you not happy I fed you I did I fed you just not what you wanted no okay I don't know what you need instead we just had an Amazon Prime delivery. It's our second this week. A very large red Dodge Ram van of some sort. And I joked with the driver that he had the ho 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 van. He's like, you know, I sure do, don't I? I said, I just need the hat. I promise I'll be back with the hat on tomorrow. <laughs> Thought it was really cute. Well, there's Johnny's lunch. I made just a bit too much. Anybody want seconds? We had um, one of our steak knives break. Uh, I've only been using them since mm, over 20 years. So um, we ordered a new set because they really fit good in your hand. Um, and obviously they were pretty durable. And um, anyway, that's at least one of the things that was in the box. I'm not allowed to see the thing that was in the box that had batteries. Right, that's right. Here's my girl. She's here working really hard on another Lego project. This would be the second one of the day. Yeah, this is the bag of bricks I got at Guardian Angel I think on Black Friday that had all the Santa faces and stuff in it and angels and they were in pieces and I'm rebuilding my North Pole Village people to add to my display so there's five Santa faces three angels and four or five elves I haven't really had to pull out any more pieces I've sort of been able to Use the online instructions loosely and um, just use what was in the bag. Wait, cool. So, yeah, now we have five Santas. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody needs. Exactly. Yeah, Don's going for his run, and then we're going to the landfill because we're such exciting people today. Yes, that's right. yes, I already let Don know that I need 15 minutes in Guardian Angel just to run in and look for Christmas Village pieces and Legos. I got to have 15 minutes on the ground over there. We're going past there pretty much anyway, so. Well, in the in the winter time with the gas vehicle, you know, getting the cabin nice and warm before we get over there. Would know. be a good thing. Yeah. I forgot we don't have the Tesla. See, leaving Don hanging in the Tesla, not a problem. Yeah. But when we got the GMC... I guess in the winter it's not so bad, but the summer, in the summer, sitting in idling with the air on for a long time. If you get the interior warm from the all the excess energy that's wasted, right, then you can just turn the vehicle off and still be warm. That's right. Yeah, well, we'll shoot for it that. Doesn't work that way in the summer, though. We'll shoot for that. We're loaded up and on our way to the landfill. Don is um, listening to the. Chrome Unbox Guy. If you ever want to know anything about Chromebooks, Don stays pretty up to date, and that's a great YouTube channel to watch as well. Yeah. It's cold out. It's just not warm at all. It's going to be really cold <laughs> overnight for us, too. And uh, at least it's sunny and pleasant looking outside. No shortage of people here at the container site today. Uh, looks like Mr. Ball sold a good number, but not all of his Christmas trees. Got his chainsaw at the ready to cut the end off. We just went around the corner and a Model S was coming around the corner in the opposite direction that I waved. Oops. I'm Tesla sure. Diva. I'm sure they were like. Why is that person in the GMC waving? We need a sticker that says my next car is a my, Tesla. My other car is a Tesla. <laughs> my other car. <laughs> so Don started spitting stuff out to me about the Atonicast podcast that he listened to today. I didn't know he listened to that one. Yeah, I'm a little behind on it, but I listened to the one it was from back in uh, November. Uh, right to Repair was the title. On it. Episode 206. 
Yep, 206. And uh, yeah, but they got into other things. And one of the things that says apparently Tesla has bought a sensor company and it kind of went under the radar. Uh, they, this gentleman was predicting, and that this, this podcast has to do with autonomy, autonomous cars, robotics, just robo taxis, all this stuff. And obviously, so Tesla is a major part of it. Um, but he was saying that uh, he thinks Tesla's going to have to quietly replace their radar sensor or something with this new, more sensitive sensor. Uh, and I thought that was interesting, but that's just his speculation. But um, the other guests, um, guests were on the show. Um, I don't remember which one of all of them, but one of them was from Wired magazine. So that's, it's a pretty uh, big a, time. Yeah, big time. That's right. And um, but. Um, they said, and I thought this was interesting, that the world's going to split. Autonomous driving or autonomous cars is going to split. There's going to be the Chinese version, uh, the one, the car available in China, and then the car, uh, there'll be a, a couple self-driving car companies in China, and he, Tesla was very clear, wasn't going to be one of them, uh, because they probably won't, the Chinese government's going to want a pound of flesh or pound of blood uh, from whoever so it will pretty much have to be a Chinese company that does it and um, then the uh, outside of China there's going to be you know several companies uh, you know maybe f f five uh, people who have the autonomous driving and they're gonna duke it out for the rest of the world but there'll be actually two two autonomous drivings what you do inside of China and what you do everywhere else in the world and then and they also mentioned that um, it's possible places like Russia won't ever have any autonomous cars because um, no company is gonna want to uh, uh, cave to the demands of the, the uh, Russian government they, uh, they basically said that this a lot of nationalism is gonna play into um, the which autonomous cars are available for sale and which which nation which goes along with something I had said before I felt like um, Tesla when they uh, cracked the autonomous driving the regulators in various different geographies like the EU are going to be very slow to approve Tesla because they don't want to give Tesla that advantage over European car companies. Now you could debate Tesla's a European car company once the Gigafactory in Berlin opens up or in Germany, but uh, you know I can see how that can um, could affect uh, affect it. Um, so uh, because they want to, you could you could argue if autonomous cars and on top of the disruption of autonomous cars on top of the disruption of uh, electric cars is causing to the car industry in Europe and the US you know it's like Tesla is like in the perfect position to to uh, capture all that and the uh, legacy car companies may not may not do it so uh, anyway uh, I thought that was interesting I had not thought about the from the standpoint of China is not going to allow a non-Chinese company to win in the autonomous driving uh, uh, China Chinese market, uh, but he also was mentioned that India is the black uh, is the black sheep in this because India uh, has the ability to uh, develop their own uh, AI stack, uh, uh, autonomy stack. They they have enough programmers and such in India that they could develop their own. China, China obviously could develop their own and then the rest of the world can develop theirs but you know an individual small third world country cannot develop their own you know uh, stack you know uh, in fact they specifically said there's like no South American country is going to develop an AI stack that can uh, autonomously drive a car so they're gonna have to license that technology or allow uh, non-South American companies to uh, sell autonomous cars I told him I don't have my Tesla alarm today to tell me my 15 minutes are up, but all right, I'm in love. I have to have that. It's marked nine, but it's totally looks brand new and totally worth it. I, I really it. wait till Michelle sees me show up in that next week. I was week. starting out with little kids. This would be going home with me 
it's a little cubby with hooks and place for your stuff and it spins. Tell if he's asleep or on his phone. I think he's just on his phone. <laughs> well, I got the best Meowy Christmas Christmas sweater ever. Meowy, huh? Yeah, Michelle's going to be so excited about oh, me when I show up in that next okay. week. I'm going to save it for a shopping day next week. Okay. And I got a couple pieces of Secura. Two plates and a oh, that's, that's, soup bowl. Yeah, yeah, that's that really colorful snowman stuff. set that I've yeah. been collecting here and there. Yeah. And uh, one really nice box with a magnet closed lid for storing oh, okay. Christmas stuff in after Christmas. Right. So it was definitely worth going in. No left in pieces. Aww. Not that I saw, but sh there was a ton, and I mean a ton of new stuff out today oh, wow. from yesterday. I mean, really a ton of new stuff, a total turnover. So, and uh, picture frames were 50% off today. Anybody needing to frame anything. Yeah. They had an excess yesterday, and Miss um, Laura kind of hinted today might be frame sale day. Right. Uh, half the inventory's gone. Wow. People got really nice uh, frames and mats and stuff. So That's great. Yay! Don dropped me off at Kohl's, and I'm basically browsing what might end up at Guardian Angel next year. I was kind of looking to see if they had a kitty cat blanket comparable to the one I bought at Halloween, and I don't see one. I was going to buy a hand towel with a cat on it, but there were 15 people in line, and I said, you know what? No. And it's another day coming to a close over here at South Park. Here's the Secura uh, red plate I got. Here's the blue plate. They were each a dollar. And um, I guess a soup bowl. <laughs> S-A-K-U-R-A. I just like them... Um, the hand painted you know they're all a little different um i just like them i've got some green i've got another style of snowman in the attic when i see them and they're inexpensive i collect them i might i might do snowman for the january tablecloth and have a blue month we'll see it's rib night don is uh saving the uh juices for me yep. i use it to cook season something else Yipper, yum yum.